Erosive pustular dermatosis of the scalp is an inflammatory scalp condition that leads to neutrophilic psychotricial alopecia. This condition is most commonly observed in young adults and elderly individuals. In young adults, it typically occurs after a mechanical injury, while in elderly patients, it is often associated with actinic keratosis and can be a result of an inflammatory reaction to treatment. In rare cases, unrelated medications can also trigger this condition. The initial manifestation of erosive pustular dermatosis is the appearance of sterile pustules. These pustules then progress to areas of purulent discharge and erosions. Then, the purulent discharge dries and forms yellow-brown crusts. The cycle of healing and recurrence continues ultimately leading to permanent damage to the hair follicles and the development of cicatricial alopecia. Trichoscopy typically reveals skin atrophy, yellow purulent discharge with yellowish crusts, the presence of arborizing vessels and erosions. A typical feature is the occasional presence of anagen bulbs that are visible through the atrophic skin. In advanced stages, areas with no follicular openings become visible and enlarge over time. Topical glucocorticosteroids are generally the first-line treatment. Alternatively, calcineurin inhibitors may be considered, especially in patients with severe skin atrophy. The efficacy of topical treatments varies among patients. Systemic treatment options include glucocorticosteroids, retinoids, antimicrobials, and immunosuppressive agents. Surgical treatments are a matter of debate. While they may enhance treatment efficacy, the disease often recurs after procedures that cause skin injury. It is crucial to recognize that a mechanical injury can lead to disease progression that extends beyond the initial injury site. Early treatment, before damage to the hair follicles occurs, may result in full hair regrowth. Thank you for watching.